In this lesson, uh, we're going to talk about adding integers together. And really, this is the first of two lessons on the same topic. And the reason for that is because um, there's really kind of two approaches you can take to uh, the strategy for adding integers. And this first one I'm going to show you, which I'll refer to as method one, is the same uh, method that your book describes. Um, and so uh, the, I am going to present one other way of adding integers together. So um, if, if you don't feel like this particular presentation makes the most sense to you, um, definitely make sure you watch the other video um, that follows this um, to kind of get a different perspective on this. So uh, to add integers, we fall, follow uh, one of two sets of steps. Um, and so there's kind of two categories here. Um, either the two numbers we're going to try to add have the same sign, so either they're both positive or both negative. And if that's the case, um, we're going to follow these two rules right up here. Um, and if the uh, numbers have different signs, one's negative and one's positive, then we follow this other set of rules below. So in the first example, we definitely have two numbers that have the same sign. So that puts us in this set of rules. And so let's read through them and try to understand what they're saying. So it says, add the absolute values of the numbers. Okay, and so at first you might be thinking, okay, where did absolute value come into this? Uh, don't overthink this part. The absolute value, remember, is just the number's distance from zero. Or a kind of shortcut way of thinking of it is the absolute value turns negatives into positives and leaves positives alone. So in other words, what it's saying is ignore the sign for a moment and just add 9 and 8 together. That's what it's saying. So 9 plus 8 is 17. So that's step one. Step two says to attach the sign that the numbers share. Well, the numbers both shared a negative. They both had a negative. And so that means after you're done adding these absolute values, you're just going to go ahead and attach that negative. So the way to think through this example in a practical sense is to say, I was $9 in debt, and I just charged $8 more to my credit card. So it makes sense that I would be even further in debt than I was before. Uh, a, a negative number that is further to the left on the number line. Let's take a look at the next example. Negative 7 plus 13. So this is a situation where the signs are different. So now we're in, uh, we're in this situation here. So to add two integers that have different signs, we'll apply the following steps. First, we're going to subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value. Again, that might seem kind of wordy, but here's all it's asking us to do. Forget about signs for a second. You have a 7, you have a 13 involved. Take the smaller one away from the larger one. Okay, so the difference between 13 and 7 is 6. And then it tells us in step 2 to attach the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. Well, 13 has a larger absolute value than negative 7 does. And since 13 is positive, we're going to use its sign in the answer. So kind of a way to think of it is the bigger one wins, and we have to use its sign. So again, kind of thinking in terms of money here, suppose that you were in debt $7, but then you sent off a check to your credit card company for $13. Well, what's going to happen? Well, now you're going to be $6 ahead of the game because you paid off the 7 you owed, and then there's an additional 6 on top of that um, that you're credited. Negative 9 plus 4, again, we're in this second situation. Subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value. So 4 has a smaller absolute value than negative 9, right? Because again, absolute value just means ignore the sign. Just think of 9 and think of 4. So 9 minus 4 is 5. There's a difference of 5. But 
we're going to attach the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. So negative 9 had a bigger absolute value, so its sign is the winner. So we're going to attach a negative to negative 5. So again, we were in debt $9. We just paid off $4. Well, we're still in debt, right? $4 isn't enough to pay off our debt, so now we're down 5 still. One last example, 25 plus negative 79. Again, the signs are different. We have a positive plus a negative. So we're going to subtract. Ignore that negative on the 79 for a second. Take away 25. This gives us a difference of 54. And the negative, uh, the negative is with the bigger absolute value. So our answer is negative 54. So again, if you'd like a, a, a different look at how to approach these types of problems, make sure you watch the next video in which I'll describe method two.